Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. Uh, for those of you who may, this may be your first time actually hearing me, I'm the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems and Not Your Partner. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the friend zone, which is kind of a continuation of the conversation that I had yesterday where I talked about date, dating, um, what's the meaning of dating. If you haven't had the opportunity to watch that, get over there and uh, check that out. The same thing I did with the 90 day rule, gave a little clarification on how I feel about the 90 day rule, which has become a very popular topic. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the friend zone today because again, a lot of the experts and gurus are out there speaking about the friend zone and people are talking about the friend zone as if it's a negative, as if it's something you should be trying to avoid. And again, you guys have heard me kind of say it a little bit that because most people in our society today were more concerned with allowing um, our pants to do our thinking instead of allowing our brains to actually think. We've removed, we've, we, we, they switched spots and you're no longer thinking things through. You're starting to just let your hormone, hormones make decisions for you. Um, so anyway, for me, why is the significance of the friend zone? The friend zone is where you actually get to know, know people. And the reason I think the friend zone is something we need to be stressing more instead of acting like it's something you're trying to get past is because the friend zone is just that. It's the opportunity to have no intent and to get to know an individual and allow them to be themselves and allow them to put their guards down. Because most people today, because when we do go on dates, we we it's almost like an interview process. You're sitting there, again, trying to see if they're Mr. Right, Mrs. Right, the one, as people call it. And you're not getting the opportunity to, to fully engage with people and really find out about them. What are they about? What are they striving for? What do they really want? Because when you start asking me, well, where you work? Well, how much money are you making? I know it's an interview and I know what you're doing. You're actually doing this to try to eliminate me. Do you, do you see the stress that you're actually creating? You're going to get people that, especially depending on the individual, if I hear you starting to ask those questions, then I realize this is not about a friendship. You're digging. You're looking for something. Uh, again, I'm not saying it's wrong if you're trying to find Mr. Right. Or, you know, I, that's, that's not my point. But I, but I realize you're not trying to get to know me. You're looking for something you've created, and you're trying to see if I fit and I qualify. So it's an interview process. Um, that's when you'll get some guys, a lot of guys, to be honest, that start to realize it's an interview process. And even if they liked you, the, the, the switch changes now to where they've realized or they at least start to think, oh, you trying to, you're, you're a gold digger. You're trying to get paid. You all about yourself. He may start to lie to you now because now for him, it's only about getting you in bed because now he no longer wants to be in a relationship with you because he realizes you don't want to be in a relationship with him unless he fits your interview process. And because of that, he will start to lie to you. He'll start to make up things and tell you what you want to hear. But the only reason is because now he's playing games. Now he wants to see if he can get you in bed. And then you wonder why after that, he disappears pretty quick. So to me, the friend zone is allowing you to be you, me to get to know you, Without us playing games, without any hidden agendas, we're just two human beings hanging out. And let's see where this goes. You will start to feel, because see, people's consistency, that's why as human beings, we pick up on each other's vibes. And you can figure out, you don't be one of those people that, you know, like I've said before in the uh, previous video about the young lady uh, going to bed with a guy you meet the first night. And then you want to turn around and have a relationship with him. Well, you kind of mess that up in most guys' case, definitely with a guy like me, because again, I'm not saying this is not here to judge, but for me, I will start to question you as an individual. And I know you'll question me because if I went to bed with you on the first night, you're saying, well, how do I trust you? Exactly. But for me, that's why I wouldn't get in a relationship with you immediately, because that is going to be my question is because if you went to bed with me that easily, Am I really going to play? And some guys do. They have this little ego. And, and again, I used to have an ego back in the day where you start to think it's because I'm the man. You know, it, it's, it's all about me. You know, she wouldn't do that with other guys. It's because I'm just good. 
then you start to mature and you realize, get over yourself. And now you start to say, you guys hear me always, all the time, character and integrity. You have just made me question your character and your integrity because you went and you were so easy the first night. So now all of a sudden, my thought, anytime I'm not with you, is what are you doing? And we all know if you can't trust in your relationship, you don't have a relationship. So you can see why I'm saying you've crossed the lines. That's why, again, I'm saying know your value, know your worth, and, um, and be friends. Get to know people. Um, there's too many times I've heard people that did um, go to bed quickly and then they regretted it because they're like, ooh, after I got to know him, you know, I found out he was that I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't? Whoa, why didn't you do all that investigation in front? That's the purpose of the friend zone. Learn that the friend zone is your friend. <laughs> Start there. Like I said, date. Turn it into day teen. And we can decide if intimacy is coming later. But doing the day teen is the friend zone. I need to realize and figure out, can I even be friends with you? Because if I don't, and for those of you who haven't figured this out, sex will only go so far. I had a young lady tell me, sex is 70% of a relationship. And I told her, I said, you're young. So that's okay for you to believe that. But if you don't figure that out eventually, and realize it's not, you'll never have a successful relationship. And I know for some of you, that's a rude awakening. And to hear that might be shocking. But there will come a time where the sex will slow down. Somebody, someone may get ill. Sex may stop altogether. Now, if that's 70% of your relationship, what's going to happen? And that kind of brings me to, even on the sex part, when I... Uh, just because of thought cross, it's a different conversation. But for those of you who use that as an excuse that my, my girlfriend wife let herself go and that's why our sex life changed. No, your sex life changed because you actually started comparing your partner to someone else. If you didn't, because there are certain cultures that when people start to pick up weight or people get too slim, that's attractive in that culture. But if you're in a culture that's sold on being thin, you know, the models in the traditional U.S., and your, your girl doesn't fit that, then you start to look at her real, a lot closer and you start to judge her based on these models. And if she's not looking like that, then you say she's letting herself go. Folks, we're going to all change, whether you like it or not. Your sex life is going to change. If your relationship is built on that, it's doomed. I know, I, I, you guys know I'm very optimistic on stuff. And so to hear me say something is doomed is, is very unique, but it's doomed. It will not last forever. And if you don't have anything outside of the bedroom, again, it's doomed. Start in the friend zone. Get to know people. Quit being so quick to, to let your pants do your thinking. And you'll watch how you'll find the right person. If nothing else, you'll find people that you can hang out with, enjoy life, as I talked about in the previous video. You can enjoy the journey called life because you have no intent. You're just out here to enjoy this thing we call life. And then the person that's supposed to become the intimate, it will naturally flow. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. And if you had that, haven't had the opportunity to watch my videos, run over to Ron's uchannel.com. That's my YouTube channel, and it's the letter U, Ron's U channel dot com. Uh, subscribe to the uh, site, like the videos. I would appreciate that. Uh, give feedback. If there's certain topics you want me to talk on, please let me know. I enjoy, again, doing videos. I enjoy sharing insights. Again, as you guys know, like I said, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It's my opinion. No one has all the answers. I'm giving my perspectives. You take them or you leave them. That's your view. But on this one, what I'm telling you is learn to start in the friend zone. Enjoy your daily. Oh, speaking of that, the way you enjoy your daily moments is I was listening to this spiritual guru and he was talking about um, 
and I really don't like the word guru, but that's what people are calling themselves. But uh, anyway, he was basically saying every hour go, wow, I'm still here. That's to help you learn to really appreciate and value the journey we're taking. Have some fun with some friends in that process. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.